How do we compare to other OECD countries? Finland offers 161 weeks. 161 weeks. South Korea, 65 weeks. Canada, 51 weeks. United Kingdom, 39 weeks. Ireland, 26 weeks. Israel, 15 weeks. Us, Zippo, zero. <coughs> so every country except America offers paid family medical leave. We're dead last. We're dead last. So Lauren Agarat, I got to tell you a story. Lauren Agaratsis, she's from Mercer County in New Jersey. She paid leave, paid leave was not available when her daughter Stephanie was born with a kidney condition. Lauren and her husband almost lost a home, ended up 20,000 in debt because of Stephanie's health issues. In 2011, Stephanie needed a kidney transplant. Thanks to New Jersey's law, few states have these laws, Lauren could take paid leave to care for Stephanie. That's what we're talking about here, these kinds of situations, and there's a lot of them, without losing her job or her life savings. So millions of Americans today are being squeezed by unimaginable daily life costs, combined with the specter of unexpected medical expenses, the cost of caring for an aging family member, our nation's failure to provide any amount of guaranteed paid leave, like a straitjacket, that's what it is, for those trying to start families and build lives for themselves. Even the United States postal workers, the employees, who deliver and collect our mail in the rain, the sleet, the ice, snow, that's not a commercial, it's true, are not entitled to pay leave. None of them. These dedicated employees left out of the new benefit we added to the defense bill. We did for federal employees still must take unpaid leave to care for a new child or tend to an aging member. Unpaid leave nearly bankrupted Lauren Agaratos and her family when Stephanie was born. Her case is tragically common. 